Nice. <laughs> and game number two is on its way now. Larry like Crest is the map. And on the bottom right hand side of the map, the world champion. SOS. And spawning into top right, representing Euronics. Euronics. It is the Blue Zerg, Nurchio. Perhaps one of the best. Uh, oh, yeah, he relogged to Nurchio. <laughs> yeah, it's just Nurchio now. No, no longer Acer Nurchio. So, a quick name change there. Very well done. Very quick. Wait, is the same account? Or is it a different account? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Only, only he knows. Only he knows. Going for a hatch first, by the way. And uh, so it's going for a nexus first. So again, a lot of the time, and I see this really often, people will be like, let's say Nurjo had gone for an early pool, right? Yeah. And that would that would be a build order win. And that would that would give Nurjo a win against SOS. It would give mm -hmm. most people watching no, never mind. It would give I don't know, any any competent grandmaster player watching a win against SOS. Yes. Yeah. Right, if he had gone for like something like a 14-14, for example, but to four player spawn, and you know, there's a lot right. of factors that come so, into that. So a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people are often go uh, and say things like, "Oh, why would SOS take a risk like this?" But but you only notice that they're taking a risk, the best players in the world, when they lose because of it. Yeah. The, in reality, these players are evenly matched enough that SOS can't just play as safe as possible and win against Nurcio. He he still has to take risks and still punish Nurcio for any risks that he takes. And that is what makes a, a, a player great. We're, we're gonna see a, a pretty standard uh, two-gated depth follow-up here mm -hmm. by SOS. I'm really curious to see how Nurtio handles this. For the time being, he should be in, in brilliant shape to do it as he's stayed on, on two hatcheries and is getting yep, a and take that relatively third. quick uh, link speed as well. So I don't think that this is do, gonna do too much for SOS. I'm not even sure that he will commit to the adepts. In fact. Yeah, because he scouted the hatch gas pool. So he's gotta, he might just poke in it, try to force more lings out, and then yeah. back off. Yeah, but his his uh, his build order is already like kind of set to do two gate adept mm -hmm. opener, and they're they're still kind of defensive units. And they're pretty good against lings. Yeah, so so yeah, exactly. So he'll still probably produce him, but I don't think that should, he should get any damage done with them. So we'll see how Nurtio ends up handling this. And there's the first and second adept. Oh, actually, an adept and a sentry. So I really like that, but mm -hmm. so it's actually <coughs> adapting to what he scouted, saying, okay, you don't have a third base, you have very early yeah. uh, a link potential speed. link flood could, could be harmful. But we see uh, SOS getting that pylon into natural. Probably going to SimCity that off. Uh, yep. I see a lot of uh, Protoss players just literally wall off the entire natural of the ramp all the way off to the uh, end of it. Yeah, uh, I don't think he, I don't think he's gonna literally do that, but I think he's definitely gonna use <laughs> the gateway or uh, some wall, some wall off, a half wall off at least for yeah. the time being. So we'll see what he literally does. And Actually, uh, there we go. There's the gateway and the second gateway or or a star gate or whatever effect he wants to go for might be what he uses to finish Maybe off the Maybe a robo. Would these spawns these spawns would favor a war prism? Would it not? Because you can just float, you can go straight from your natural straight into the main, and then hit the third at the same time. Because the map yeah, in I mean, this situation is kind of cut in half. At sure. The right now. Sure. Yeah, I mean, war prisms are usually pretty good. There's there's a lot of positions and maps where, where they work. But yeah, that 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 could definitely be a viable strategy in the in the world of many strategies mm -hmm. that SOS could go for. And this is a one force field, a uh, one force field ramp, right? So potentially he could float the, he could take the uh, don't, sentry. Don't, don't use our camera because they can't see what we're looking at. Yeah, I was just, I was just making sure, but. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so okay. Let's just go back. Oh no, I knew that. Box. I was just checking for myself. Did you know that? Yeah, I was just checking for myself. Okay. But yeah, it's okay. a one force field uh, ramp, ramp so main, he could yes. potentially take the sentry and cut off the main, uh -huh. which is pretty, it's still like a move used to this day, but it's like pretty common one. Yeah, pretty uh, much every ramp since the beginning of time is a one force field ramp, like uh, leading into the main. Future reference, I suppose. Um, roaches are being produced by SOS or by uh, Nurtio. <laughs> but he doesn't have much of anything. Oh, mm. SOS with the pussy out. I'm not sure if he wanted to do that mm. because... But the roaches were just spawning right they now. They were just about but to he spawn, but known he that. could have Yeah, he, he, he could have he done a lot of damage, actually, before the roaches popped out, I think. The, depending on where they were spa spawning as well, I think he could have definitely paid for those adepts. Now, Let's see what Nurtio is able to do with these roaches. Uh, he's actually pushing with the queens as well. Unfortunately for him, and this is again kind of, yeah, this is looking kind of good for SOS just simply because 
um, this this type of timing attack from Nerchu, I think, would be extra effective if SOS had opened with a Stargate, much like he did last mm -hmm. game, right? Because he would have a considerable lower amount of units than he does now, but he has so many units because yeah, he was actually Raptor. going... Uh, yeah, essentially, essentially, Nerchu is all-leaning into SOS's all-in, and that's never a position that you want to be in. You, you want people... Again, like if, if, if SOS was to all in into Nurture's all in, the, the opposite would be. Yeah, the exactly. Nurture would have the advantage. But uh, right. SOS was, was a brilliant board field, cutting off the Queen from the Roaches and Raptors. And there's, uh, there's, uh, however, all, all the sentries are out of full course field. The, the biggest problem here with this attack from Nurture is that the Queens can't ever retreat. Yeah. Otherwise, he might have been okay just going back. Yeah, exactly. So a quick and a quick second win for SOS. Not really. N not really that again that that build was build order into build order mm -hmm. and and they and just, just played it out they, they played, just played it out yeah. so sos might have had a read on what nurture was doing mm -hmm. and uh not to discredit the world champion of course if he did then his reaction was brilliant but i think he was just planning to go for an all-in he he was just he had just preemptively decided what his uh tech choice was was gonna be with the robo and the immortals mm -hmm. being made and unfortunately for nurture he had to he was going for an all-in himself and um SOS's which is better. Yeah. Well SOS's was in his base, yeah. right? It's the Defender's advantage, advantage and... with the pylons and you know Yeah. <laughs> Mothership cores, pylons, so Queen's gonna retreat and with that Nurture's gonna go down zero two to the world champion.